gold is trading at its all-time high with over 78,000 per kilo and 2,400 dollars per ounce. There is a saying that the higher price of gold is due to less trust in fiat currencies, devaluation of the dollar, and printing of too much money into the system. Due to this, people tend to buy and invest in gold to preserve their world in a long time. In this video, we're going to discuss the easy ways to buy and invest in gold and why you need to invest in gold. I'll also talk about the pros and cons of each way to invest in gold. So if you are looking to diversify your portfolio, gold can be a valuable addition to your investment strategy. So now let's talk about why you need to invest in gold. Gold is a great option to stand against inflation. Gold often retains its value over time, making it a great choice in times of inflation. So during inflation, gold is able to withstand all odds. So due to this, a lot of people tend to trust gold more than investing in stocks because it's able to hedge against inflation. Adding gold to your portfolio can also reduce overall risk as it doesn't move in the same direction with stocks and bonds. So it's a perfect way to diversify your portfolio. During economical downtime and geopolitical instability, gold tends to perform well, offering a safety net when other assets may falter. Now let's talk about the different ways to buy and invest in gold. The first one is buying the physical gold, which is also known as portfolio. You can buy physical golds in the form of bars and coins. This is the direct way to own gold and it gives you the satisfaction of holding your own investment. So imagine owning and holding one kilogram of gold. That is $78,985 as at the time of recording this video. And in Ghanaian cities, that will be 1.2 million cities. So with this type of investment, you will need a good dealer to buy the real gold metal. There are a lot of fake gold dealers who can use stones as gold for you. So beware whenever you are purchasing a gold. Make sure that you buy from a reputable gold dealing firm. So far, I don't know any reputable dealing company. I'll make more research into reputable companies that you can buy and sell gold here in Ghana. So here are some of the pros of buying and owning a physical gold. Number one is you get the tangible asset. So you get a satisfaction of holding your gold, owning it to yourself, and it makes you feel proud that you have this as an asset where you can carry or move it out to anywhere that you want to go. And the second one is it can stand against inflation whenever there is a decrease in the fiat currencies. So whenever there is a decrease or less trust in fiat currencies, the higher the prices of gold become. And the third one is by diversifying your portfolio. So having gold in your portfolio can serve as a diversification, which can always be a reserve. Whenever there is a market volatility in other assets, gold can withstand against market volatility. Here are some of the cons of owning a physical gold. Number one is storage costs. Storing gold safely is a little costly. You might need to either go to the bank and store it where you pay some charges for just storing your gold. So in Ghana here, if you own a gold, you can send it to the bank and deposit it as you deposit your money. They will keep it for you, but you need to know that you have to pay for just storing your gold in the bar. Another con is theft risk. So owning a physical gold is susceptible to theft and losses. If you own a gold, if you don't keep it safe or store it in a box, even keeping it in your house, there is always a risk of theft. So when you get robbed, you're going to lose this asset. The next con is that you don't earn any income when you store your own gold. So there will be no dividends or interests when you keep your own gold and it doesn't generate any income like how stocks and bonds gives you interest every year. So if you're looking for a more secured way or you don't want to deal with a physical gold, then you can invest in gold ETFs or mutual funds. These funds invest in physical gold and gold mining stocks, giving you a convenient way to gain exposure to gold prices without a hassle of storage. ETFs are especially popular because they trade like stocks, allowing you to buy and sell easily. Gold ETFs are traded on stock exchanges, which means you can buy and sell shares 
throughout the trading day at market prices. This makes them highly liquid and easy to trade, providing flexibility similar to stocks. Some gold ETFs don't only invest in physical gold, but also invest in diversified portfolio of gold mining stocks. This can provide exposure to gold price movements and the performance of the mining industry. An example of gold ETF is the SBDR gold shares. The trust holds gold bars from time to time, issues baskets in exchange for deposit of gold. The objective of the trust is for the shares to reflect the performance of the price of gold bullion. So gold mutual funds pull money from multiple investors to invest in diversified portfolio of gold related assets, including stocks of gold mining companies, gold bullions, and gold ETFs. Suppose you purchase shares of a gold ETF that invests directly in physical gold. As the price of gold rises, the value of your ETF shares increases, allowing you to benefit from the price appreciation. So with this one, you can easily sell your shares on the stock market at any time during market hours. So let's look at the scenario of gold mutual funds. So with gold mutual funds, you invest in mutual funds that holds a mix of gold mining stocks and physical gold bullion. The fund manager actively adjusts the portfolio based on market trends. If the gold mining sector performs very well, your investment may see significant gains, but it's also subject to the manager's investment strategy and management fees. So you can invest in gold ETFs on the US stock market using the Bamboo Investment app. You can use the short code in the description below to download and register your Bamboo Investment app. Or you can also use any preferred broker to register. So if you want to watch how I buy gold ETFs and gold stocks then make sure to watch the video in the description below to learn more you can also buy and invest in gold etfs right here in ghana using the ic world app or you can use any licensed stock broker on the ghana stock market to buy the new gold etf powered by apsa so if you want to learn how to buy stocks on the ghana stock market using the ic world app then make sure to check the link in the description below to learn more on how to use the IC World app to buy stocks. The third way to buy and invest in gold is to buy the gold mining stocks. Investing in gold mining stock is another way to benefit from the rising gold price. These stocks can offer high returns, but they also come with higher risk since they are tied to the success of individual companies and the mining industry. You can check out gold mining stocks such as Goldfields Limited and Anglo Gold Ashanti on the US stock market. So the pros of investing in gold mining stocks include the following. Number one is dividends. Some mining companies pay you dividends, providing you a source of regular income in addition to the potential capital gains. Gold mining stocks also provide greater returns more than the physical gold and gold ETFs during the periods of rising gold prices because the profits of the mining companies can grow significantly as gold prices increase. Let's also look at the cons of buying gold mining stocks. Gold mining stocks can be more volatile than the fiscal gold and gold ETFs with prices affected by broader market trends, company-specific news, and global economic conditions. Unlike owning a fiscal gold or ETF, Investing in gold mining stocks does not provide direct exposure to the gold prices. As prices of the stocks are also influenced by company-specific factors and broader market conditions. All these are not investment advice. You may need to make more research on these methods that I've shown you before you put your money into action. So as an investor, you may need to invest 5-10% to of your portfolio in gold, either in physical gold or gold ETF to preserve your wealth. It's a good idea to start investing in gold right now at your younger age because you are going to find the benefits of investing in gold when you become older. So it's very important to have a diversified portfolio like stocks, ETFs, gold, real estate, treasury bill bonds, and many more. You can also look into cryptocurrencies as it is the new trend of making you money in 2024 and beyond. So as always, don't forget to hit the like button to help this video go far and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here. See you 
in my next video.